Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I will be making pineapple cheesecake. So let's get started. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. So the first ingredient we have is ground almonds. The next ingredient is powdered sugar, which is about a half a cup of powdered sugar and we'll stir that. I'll have the full recipe in the description section of the video. All right, the next ingredient we have is a little bit of coconut flour and some salt and some cinnamon. Give a good stir just to get all the dry ingredients combined. I did sift the powdered sugar because it was a little bit clumpy, um, but to get it nice and smooth, I sifted it. Final ingredient for the crust will be melted butter. And give that a good stir. Okay guys, so the next step is to place the crumb mix in a greased springform baking tin. I have a 10 and a half inch baking tin here. And then we flatten it to form the shell of the cheesecake, leaving the bottom thicker than the sides. I'm going to use, use something with a flat bottom to get it to be a little bit flatter here. And just keep pressing firmly until you get the crust to about a quarter of an inch thick around the sides and then the rest will be on the bottom. As I'd like to have the sides uniform, I'm going to use a knife just to trim it slightly. And the excess, I'll just put on the bottom. Our crust is ready. Okay guys, to make the filling, you need Speisetopfen, otherwise known as Topfen cream, or you could use cream cheese or Neufchatel cheese, which has a little less fat content. So to that, we're gonna add granulated sugar. Then we're going to mix that until it's creamy and smooth. If you're making a plain cheesecake, you can add lemon rind at this point, but for the purposes of this cheesecake, it's going to be pineapple flavored. So I'm going to add a little pineapple juice. 
And then to aid with the thickening process, I'm going to add some coconut flour. And then vanilla extract. And the last ingredient is room temperature eggs. And again, we're going to mix at low speed till it's combined. Next step is to spoon the filling into the shell. And smooth it out. And then we're going to tamp it gently to get any air bubbles out. Now we're going to place the pan on a baking sheet in the oven and bake it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to shield the crust with some foil like this. All the way around. That's to prevent the, the crust burning. And bake for an additional 10 minutes for a total of 30 minutes baking time. When the cheesecake is done after 30 minutes, remove it from the oven and let it cool to room temperature. Okay, so for the topping of the cheesecake, I'm going to mix some apricot jelly. And then to that, I'm going to add some pineapple chunks. And mix well. And then we're going to spoon the pineapple mix on top of the cooled cheesecake. It smells so good guys and it looks just so delicious. And then we're going to place the cheesecake in the refrigerator for a minimum of three hours before serving. Okay guys, the cake is ready. I'm going to use a spatula to pry the edges from the spring form pan. And this will ensure that the, the crust won't crack. Okay. Wow, that looks really good. Okay, I am going to cut a piece of that. Wow, look at that guys, that looks so good. And now the moment of truth. Wow, that is excellent. Really, really good guys, you have to try to make this.
I'm really curious how the crust tastes. Mmm. I taste the cinnamon, I taste the nuts. Crunchy, not too dry. Sort of just melts in your mouth. And the cream is so light and the fruit is so fresh. So there you have it guys, pineapple cheesecake. Thanks for watching.